couple weeks, um, I went through Red Cross and I had this life-changing experience where I wrote a, a song with a group of kids in a shelter. And the song was called The Freedom Song. And um, it was one of those things that was an unplanned, I had gone down there just to help lift sandbags or work in the shelter. And, um, just help the people after I saw everybody waiting in water and atrocity. And so um, I actually just brought my guitar as an afterthought and it was kind of the first moment in my life that I learned that the, the best service that I actually had to give in tragic, intense situations like that was music. And so we, it was just like, we were just trying to have fun in the shelter because it was, you know, then it was up to a month for people who had been sitting in the shelter and the kids were so bored and they were becoming their own hurricane and just like, so we just made up this song, this sweet song, uh, the freedom song, you know, it was about like freedom, freedom in your mind, freedom in your, and anyways, it just ended up being, just ended up having a lot of power, had some like real juice to it, and so I um, then dedicated myself to record it, I was like, we gotta record this to share it with the world, so I went back home and I told the story to my grandpa, and my grandpa and my grandma, and my grandpa said, I'll pay for your plane ticket to go back right away, find those kids and record that song and have it. And I'm so glad we did because we went and we had this amazing, you know, incredible adventure that ended up, it was really positive, it was a positive thing to do for the kids and the parents, you know, while going through this huge life change. But the song ended up being a really beautiful song and then five years later this artist, Jason Mraz, I don't know if you guys know. He ends up, yeah, he like fell in love with the song and he wrote me and asked to cover it and then we became good friends with him and then um, he took the song all around the world and then we uh, toured with him and then he actually took the song to uh, Ghana to a shelter for freed boy slaves that, you know, had recently been freed from slavery in, in Ghana and the song became their like theme favorite song. So it went from being this born in a shelter to being these boys singing about really freedom, like recently emancipated from slavery, they're singing the freedom song. And so it just kind of changed my life that, just that, that moment. And, and actually I've never stopped doing that, doing that. From what I learned there about music and service, Basically, music and art for people facing adversity. Right. Therapy. Yeah. So. so there, well, there's people yeah. that have never like smiled before, or that hadn't people that have not gotten out of their wheelchairs or their walkers that are like up and out dancing, smiling, laughing, painting like for the first time since there anybody that has known them for years has ever seen. They always thought, no, this person is just checked out and gone. These guys play this music and create this inviting atmosphere that is truly healing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And they're writing, they're, they've got a new song. Maybe you'll sing a little bit of your Puerto oh, Rico yeah. song. Yeah, it's kind of in interesting Nevada. telling that story because it kind of ended up happening again. Just now we went to Puerto Rico after, mm. the, after the hurricane. And again, we were just going to play music and do service, but then actually a song, a song was born. And so now we're following through with finishing and recording that almost it's in a weird way almost a little we're gonna go back and record it and give it as a song for uh, the island because it was really written by um, a local Puerto Rican man I was just playing the chords and singing this little ooh part but he starts singing this beautiful um, inspirational um, kind of chorus about uh, Puerto Rico Salivanta which is rise up stand up mm. Is it so. in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Is it Spanish? Yeah. But I'm just, does this mean like we are rising or we are standing? Yeah, 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 right yeah. Now? Yeah. Levantando is like. Get up. Getting up. Yeah. Getting up on their feet. Yeah. Stand up together, persevere. Mm -hmm. Wake up, rise up. Mm -hmm. So. Levantando. So, yeah. Ooh, yeah. More so now or never. Yeah. <laughs> and they did a really awesome video 
in the Jordanian, um, in the Syrian refugee camp in Jordan. Yeah. You all were in Syria? Oof. In Jordan. Yes. Not, um, not in Syria. We were about 10 miles from the southern border of Syria in Jordan. Yeah. And so, um, but we might as well 